This right here is Miami, Florida, a coastal city known for its white sand beaches, warm climate, great nightlife, and even better food thanks to its Latin American influences. One of my favorite things to do when I'm traveling is eat, so today we are doing a 24-hour food guide to Miami where I visit the top recommended spots in the city. So make sure you're subscribed and let's get into it. We are starting this food guide off with a place that I actually found on Instagram called the Amistro Cafe. They are definitely known for their super Instagrammable dishes, so we're gonna go inside and check it out. But we just got two very intense looking drinks that I'm excited to show you guys. I think for my main, I might have to get these churro pancakes, which look absolutely amazing. Something kind of funny too is she's like, don't look at the menu, just go look on our Instagram. It's way less confusing than the menu. So I picked the best looking thing and we're gonna try it out. Cocktails have arrived and they are very delicious. It's like a snack and a drink in one. Very messy though. And next we're gonna try Peter's drink, you got the mocha. Very chocolatey. It also came with a waffle on top. That's very delicious. Thank you so much. Oh my god. It's the moment of truth. I just poured all of the maple syrup on top. This is five pancakes stacked on top of each other. Wow. Good? Yeah, really good. Another thing I noticed about this restaurant is that there's a bunch of big groups of girls here. There's a group of girls over there. It kind of looks like they're on a bachelorette party. So I definitely think this is a great place to come if you had a group of girlfriends, you were coming to the city and wanted summer fun that you could take great photos of your food. So we just paid the bill and for two meals, two drinks, along with an 18% gratuity, which is automatically added, it came to $80. And I noticed actually a lot of places in Miami, they add gratuity automatically, which is kind of nice because it does take out the guesswork in tipping. I mean, I personally always tip 20%. I did used to be a server, so 20% is normally like the minimum I will do. But that being said, yeah, it is nice when it's included because then it's just easy, you have the full total and not a cheap breakfast, but definitely a delicious one. On to the next place. We've walked about half an hour. You can also get here in about an eight minute drive, but we decided to get some exercise and we've come to an era called Wynwood. This place is actually known to have really cool murals like you can see behind me here and a lot of good local food shops as well. Also too, if you're looking for a way to get around and you don't want to Uber or rent a car, I noticed in this area, there's a ton of these motorized scooters, which is actually a really great way to get around. There are endless amount of areas to explore here in Wynwood and so many cool murals, but I am getting quite warm. The Miami heat is getting to me. So I actually just looked up a place on Yelp that apparently has the best coffee in Wynwood. It's known as a Panther Coffee. It's across the street from me, so we're gonna go check it out. Got my iced vanilla latte with oat milk. Really good, the coffee has a really interesting flavor to it too. So I'm actually currently just sitting in their little outside area. It looks like this. Lots of outdoor seating. It's nice in this hot weather to sit down and take a break every once in a while. So we are currently in line for a famous Cuban sandwich. You can't come here to Miami without getting one. There's a huge Cuban influence here in the city. And so there's actually a lineup outside. We're at Sanguich de Miami, which is always a good sign when there's a lineup. And I found this place off Google. People say it's the best Cuban sandwiches. We eat, we're gonna do the Cubano and then one of the iced Cuban coffees. Two Cubans and order for friends, a cafecito and a rosita. Yes, correct. It's gonna be 35. Thank you. So we just had to wait a short bit, about 15 minutes outside. Basically, they have a takeout and then they also have indoor seating. We got two Cuban sandwiches. We were gonna get two different ones, but Peter and I both really want to try the Cuban. I don't normally eat meat, but for special things like this, I am gonna try it because I feel like you have to obviously try a Cuban sandwich if you come to a Cuban sandwich spot. All right, so the first thing has arrived. We got the croquettes, which I actually tried these for I think the first time when I went to Cuba last year, and they are super good. It also comes with this sauce. You can dip it in. Mm. Wow. Really good. Next up, Cuban coffee. It also comes with caramel as well. That's so delicious. First thing, 10 out of 10. Second thing, 10 out of 10. Sandwiches and just arrived. That's a really good sandwich. Just left the place. I have to say, it definitely lived up to all the reviews. It was really, really good. Did you enjoy it? Yeah, it was super good. Mm -hmm. 
we're definitely worth checking out. Bit of a wait. Yeah, worth it for sure. The next spot on our list is the famous Joe's Stone Crab. This place has been going strong for over 100 years and is known for its Florida Stone Crab, Signature Sides, and Key Lime Pie. Joe's Stone Crab first opened in 1913 and people say it has some of the best seafood in the country. They have a couple different types of crabs. First off, they have the stone crabs, which they're famous for. It's a huge industry here in Miami, and there's actually seasons as to which they can, they can um, fish them. And what they do is they actually only take one of the claws and then throw the crab back so it grows back to sustain the crabs um, in the ocean. And then he says they come in different sizes, select, large, and jumbo. It was interesting. He said they do 2,000 uh, soft shell crab claws a day at this location. We got the famous Lyonnaise hash browns, the grilled tomatoes with spinach and cheese, their famous fried chicken, of course, the, the, the king of the meal, the stone crab. So I have a bib as well, and we're just we're just gonna dig in. I think I'm gonna actually gonna start with the sides first, and I am gonna try some of the stone crab. The food came out in about five minutes. It's very fast here. So this is all meat. Okay. You just dip it, and then. Eat. I made Peter take the shell off for me. All right, like even this part you eat. That's all. Of it. That's all meat. All right there. That's... Okay. I think the butter might have to be my favorite part. Oh wow! That good? Yeah, that's really good. Yes, Joe Stone Crab, five out of five. Definitely come if you're in Miami. It's a cool piece of Miami history in the restaurant. And uh, yeah, met my expectations, very good. And that right there is my 24 hour food guide to Miami. Comment down below some of your favorite spots that you've tried in the city and don't forget to subscribe and I will see you in my next video. Bye.